Hello, thank you for watching. My name is Merganator, and this is Trans Am week number four, the final week of the series that Jewel RDT and I have put together. Here we are around at Nürburgring at GP, um, and we have seven laps around here. Big old muscle cars, Trans Am style. And uh, I'm trying to make it so we don't have to pit damages on, so if you mess up, you will have to pit to recover your damage. But uh, yeah, only seven laps before we run out of gas, so here we go. I'm starting fourth, but I'm up here in third place, and we got a huge field of, uh, maybe not a huge field, there's only seven of us, but there are uh, some big names here. We have M. Rossi, GTR M. Rossi, Great Kabuki, GTR Ash, JSR Devin right behind me as I cut him off a little bit. And uh, he just happened to be online, so I hit him up, and so I'm honored that JSR Devin had joined us. Here we are. Um, Seven Motorsport was also with us, as well as the good old Sparky Dream Star. Coming up on this really sharp right-hander, tapped from behind by JSR. It's okay, though. No harm, no foul. Pushed me into M. Rossi. Nothing seemed to have happened there either. So we have Ash, Kabuki, Rossi, and I with Devin behind. Great Kabuki going wide, messing up the line. M. Rossi and I are able to get past Great Kabuki. And I'm just alongside M. Rossi, but I kind of had to bail out there. TCS kind of messing me up, so, but I'm still in third place, managing to hold on to that position. Great Kabuki had a way better exit on that turn, but somehow, some way, I'm able to power through and keep my spot. Let's see what happens here in this super tight chicane here. Ooh, that was really close. Great Kabuki almost in the back side of me there. As M. Rossi seems to go a little wide, late apex action going on here. And I finish lap one in third place. Not a bad start. Here we are, lap three, catching up to M. Rossi and Ash. They're battling. I'm able to get around M. Rossi, or at least to his side, see what happens next. JSR Devin right behind us. Kind of locking up the brakes there, but I'm okay. Didn't touch M. Rossi. Holding on to this weird line I have going on here. Way too wide on that exit, and Jim Rossi ends up with a cutback, but he's on the outside for this next turn. And I kind of slowed down just to give him the spot. He goes wide again on the exit of here. I'm able to overtake and get into second place. JSR Devin going way wide there. Late on the brakes. Don't know if he was late on the brakes or locked up. M. Rossi passing me. Great Kabuki right behind me applying pressure. Later on, oh, Great Kabuki with the late brake. Oh, or was that Sparky? I think that was Great Kabuki. We are lap six. M. Rossi finally able to get around GTR Ash. And it looks like I may be able to as well. Have the inside line on the last turn of lap six. No cutback as I am on that apex. And I end up finishing the race in second place. And there are the results for round one. Here we go. Round two, Silverstone International. Starting here, random grid order. Starting in fourth place, seven motorsport right behind me. GTR Ash in front here with Great Kabuki and M. Rossi up front. Sparky able to pass me. He's on my inside here. Seven motorsport really close behind us, giving me a nice little tap, letting me know that he's there. And Swaggy Cat 23, some random that just wanted to race with us, ended up hitting me. Knocking me way behind. I'm able to squeeze past Swaggy Cat here on lap, I think, or turn five, that is. So I have some catching up to do. I didn't want to deny Swaggy Cat playing with us, but uh, this was his first race of the season, and this is the second to last race. But, uh, yeah, he ended up falling way behind, spoiler alert, and quitting the race and then actually just leaving the lobby. 
So M. Rossi, GTR M. Rossi, in, holding down first place at the end of lap one. I'm in sixth. THR7 Motorsport. Looking like he was going a little sideways there. It's a drag race, both Camaro versus Camaro. I have the inside for the next turn. Gave me enough room, luckily. And I was able to hold my inside line here. Here we are, lap three out of 12. Great Kabuki messed up somehow and gets passed by a whole bunch of people. So I'm up into fourth place now. Here we are, lap seven, catching up with GTR Ash. I'm gonna go on his outside here, he's in the Challenger. And I stayed in this Camaro for the remainder of the this season. Usually I switch between Challenger and Mustang, but I just wanted to keep in my Camaro because I love this car. GTR Ash didn't know I was showing up there. I was trying to give him enough room, but I messed up his apex, so he ended up going wide. No contact, though, luckily. He goes wide on turn one. I'm able to take over and get into third place at the beginning of lap eight. It's not over though, he keeps battling and gives himself back, gets himself back into lap, uh, position three, sorry. And I kind of bailed there because I didn't want any contact. But I think I have the better exit here as I'm get, able to get back into third place. So a nice little back and forth battle between GTR Ash and myself. And at the end of the race, I'm able to finish in third place, so not a bad finish. And here are the results. GTR M. Rossi in first, Sparky second, myself in third, GTR Ash in fourth, Seven Motorsport in fifth. Here we are. We are joined by a couple of great names here, one of them being TX3 Virtuosity. Uh, just decided to join us, and him and M. Rossi go on a tear around Laguna Seca as we enter. We go back to America for the very last race here in the Trans Am series that we're, we put together. Great Kabuki just behind me. Virtuosity going wide here on turn three. But he's able to lay down the power in that Mustang as he's catching up with GTR M. Rossi. Trying to keep up with some really fast people. I mean, it's, it's the best way to get better at the game yourself, get better at racing. So it's actually more beneficial for yourself if you uh, if you race with fast people. Now, the race ended up being just boring. I was just kind of following Virtuosity and M. Rossi. And on the very last lap, they decided to drift. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get around them. Can't get around Virtuosity back there. And then I run into M. Rossi just now. Virtuosity finally getting around me. Sparky and I are trying to get around. I thought there was a spot open for me. I knocked Dreamstar away. Virtuosity still having fun here. <laughs> and M. Rossi behind. I'm able to finally get around him. And I finished the season with a win. Granted, it was given to me with a couple of goofballs drifting. But yeah, thank you everyone who participated. I will be doing another series with uh, hopefully some prizes. That'll be nice to have. And the next series will be the Abarth 500. It'll be small cars with lots of handling around small tracks. It'll be a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you everyone who participated. It was a lot of fun. Thank you GTR, Jewel RDT for the tunes and helping me get everything together. Uh, and I'll see you guys all in the next race. Bye-bye.